If you have the Jacuzzi Primo toilet in your bathroom or are considering it, you may already know that this is a hard toilet to pair with the bidet seat. As your bidet expert, we have had this question countless times and have found that some customers have come up with a rather creative workaround. Stay tuned on this video to learn what that workaround is. And of course, at the end, if you still have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always here to help. I'm Daniel Johnson, your bidet expert and the owner of minibidets.com, where over the past eight years, we've sold over 10,000 bidets. The Jacuzzi Primo is a hard toilet to fit because of the French curve, and that's where this tank curves around the outside of the bowl on either side. Now, there are a variety of French curve toilets. All of them are hard to fit when it comes to a bidet seat. And the reason for that is that the bidet seat stores the hardware that makes the seat work here in the back, and the French curve can often get in the way of that hardware and that large back. The Cascade 3000 is our top pick for a French curve toilet. And the reason for that is the fact that these sides are curved in, making it one of the few seats on the market that can actually work with a French curve toilet. Even with that curved back, the Jacuzzi Primo is a tricky toilet to work with because of the steepness of this French curve. Because of that, some of our customers have had to get creative when getting the Cascade 3000 to fit a Jacuzzi Primo toilet. This is a standard mounting plate for the Cascade 3000. This is a modified mounting plate. The difference between the two is pretty subtle, but you can see that there's a little bit cut out in the back here. On the standard mounting plate, there's a lip. On the modified mounting plate, the lip is gone. Customers who have made this modification have also had to adjust how the bolts fit into the mounting plate. So here's a standard bolt. You can see that its head uh, protrudes from every side of the bolt. Here's a modified bolt. So you can see that three of the sides still have a lip on it, but one side doesn't. And why this is crucial is that allows you to face the one side back and have it set snug up against the back of the mounting plate groove. And this gives us an additional eighth of an inch, which is enough space to make the Cascade 3000 snap into place. To help with the stability of this mounting plate, you can take some mounting tape, which is a heavy duty double-sided tape, and put a piece of it on the bottom side of the mounting plate. And this will help us be a bit more stable on the toilet. We now need to take the cover off the back side of that mounting tape. So now that we've removed the covering, we're going to place this on the toilet. And we want to make sure that this plate is as far forward as possible while still seeing the holes before we let it touch the porcelain to make sure that that mounting tape adheres in the proper place. Following the instructions, apply pressure for however long the instructions say to for the mounting tape. And then once you're done with that, take your modified bolts with the shaved in facing back and place them into the mounting plate through the toilet. Now take your cone washer and your standard washer and slide them onto the bottom side of the bolt. The standard washer will hold the bolt and the cone washer together and then put the nut on the bottom side. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So now that we've installed the mounting plate in such a way as to give us a bit more space to work with, we want to line up the mounting plate and the grooves on the cascade and then slide it into place. 
You should physically feel the seat snap into place. You should also, when looking down from the top, not be able to see the mounting plate. If you can look from the top and see the, uh, the lip of the mounting plate, the cascade is not snapped into place properly. Now that we have this bidet seat mounted to the toilet, the rest of the steps to install this particular bidet seat are the same as installing it on a standard toilet. To follow the remainder of the steps, check out our installation video for the Cascade 3000 in the description of this video. It's important to note that the modification that we've made today on the mounting plate is not a universal modification that can be made to any mounting plate for any bidet seat. That's the reason that we've chosen the Cascade 3000 today for our video. It's also important to note that when you're looking at making these modifications, they are not modifications that are manufacturer recommended. This is simply us showing how other customers have gotten around the fitting limitations that the Jacuzzi Primo brings into the picture when trying to install a bidet seat. Any modifications to the mounting plate or the bolts that are made from the manufacturer's default configuration are made at your own risk. Thank you so much for watching today. We have some exciting new videos coming out on some of our top selling products like the Toto S550e and the BioBidet BB1000. If you want to catch those videos when they drop, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of the action. Also feel free to like this video if you like what you saw so that other people know it's worth a watch. If you're getting ready to purchase a bidet seat or bidet integrated bidet toilet combo, feel free to reach out to us for special pricing and consider giving us your business to help support us so that we can continue creating great content like this. Installing a bidet seat on a French curved toilet can be tricky. If you found that any part of this video was confusing or you have additional questions, comment on this video so that we can provide additional feedback and maybe get some ideas on some other great videos that we can release in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Minibidets.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.